What is up? Mike here and I wanted to do a video on switching from iOS to Android. So let's get started. So whether you're a Android fan or an iOS fan, it uh, doesn't really matter. Me, um, the last nine months, obviously I had my iPhone 6S Plus with me. And I do like iPhones, I do like iOS, however, when I saw the rumored specs of the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, they were pretty much all true. And to me, it was just kind of a mediocre upgrade, and I was really kind of um, wanting something more. So it was what I did, I went out and got the Galaxy S7 Edge, and to me, again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I think this is probably one of the, or if not the most sexy smartphone you can get. I mean, just the design of this thing is awesome. I mean, the AMOLED display, um, I love it. I'm not going to do a review of this phone because this phone's been out for about six months, but I just kind of want to talk about my experience from going from iOS to Android. And really, iOS, it's kind of been the same for many years. I mean, there's only really been incremental changes. It kind of looks the same in the iPhone especially. I mean, the screen technology is about three or four years old. I mean, with this, as soon as I picked it up, I mean, it's hard to tell on camera, but I was just blown away by the AMOLED display, just how much better it looked than my iPhone 6S Plus. I mean, it is just night and day different. So <clears throat> technology is one of the reasons. I mean, and also one of the biggest reasons I switched is just wireless charging. I mean, this phone... I can charge it wirelessly using any aftermarket Qi charging pad. So I've got two actually. I got one that I'll keep on my desk at work and one in my bedroom. And another thing is this has got fast charging. So I can actually <clears throat> plug this in and in, within about 30 minutes, I'm at like 75%. And within an hour or less, it'll be 100% charged. So those are some of the major reasons that I actually switched from Apple to iOS is just technology. Um, love or hate Apple. They've got good products. They work. They're very reliable, but they're about two to three years behind in technology. I mean, wireless charging has been around for about three or four years now. Quick charging and the iPhone, even the newest one, the iPhone 7, has none of that. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over my cold. But those are some of the reasons that I switched. And um, another thing is just about Android is just the different tweaks. For instance, right now, um, my phone is locked, but it's got the always on display. And it's just little things like this, to me, attention to detail that just made me want to switch from Apple to Android. Now, initially when I switched, because I had been using an iPhone for about a year now, um, there was a little bit of frustration for about the first 30 minutes to an hour just learning the new operating system but within a day um, I was good to go and I was just really liking this phone more and more and one of the other reasons I switched is widgets I mean just a simple thing of widgets like on my screen you know I can have the weather or whatever widget I want whereas with the iPhone you have to swipe down or left or right to get that widget it's not there you actually have to hunt for it which is to me not a widget so it's kind of a pain in the butt but overall I really don't have any regrets um, really love this phone as far as the S7 Edge I actually wanted to get the Galaxy Note 7 but we all know what's happened with the batteries and when I got back from deployment I didn't know how long it would take for the before I could actually buy a Note 7 so I just went ahead and got the S7 Edge and I'm glad I did uh, now you can actually buy the Note 7s again but um, now I just, I've gotten used to this one and I just don't want to switch. I don't want to go through the hassle of setting up another phone. But overall, um, the experience has been really good. So if you are an iOS guy and you've never tried Android or you're wanting to, um, I recommend it. At least play with it, try it. I mean, for maybe a half a day, <clears throat> you'll have a little bit of um, shock just getting used to the different gestures. Whereas in Android, you know, you'll swipe from top to bottom bring up this but in iOS you'll swipe from the bottom to the top to bring up that but um, so far I got no regrets I just the display on this I just can't get over how crisp and bright it is compared to what 
the iPhone display is. So um, the final thing I kind of want to talk about is <coughs> it may sound like a little thing, but this is one of the greatest reasons that I hate iOS and wanted to switch to Android. I wouldn't say I hate iOS, but this is the thing that I hate the most about iOS is, for instance, multi-window or the task switcher, app switcher. You know, I don't really mind, you know, care about this. Like in iOS, you go left to right, not a big deal. And this, you go top to bottom. But if I want to close all my apps in iOS, I have to go one at a time. That is just me personally, the greatest pet peeve I have about iOS. <clears throat> Whereas with Android, there's a little close all button. You probably can't see it on camera. But if I hit this, I have closed all my apps. Whereas on iOS, you got to keep, and that just drives me berserk. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily ding on the iPhone, it's just iOS. But that is the thing that just bugs me to no end about iOS. That is my number one complaint about iOS is not being able to close all my apps at once. But anyway, so far, like I said, the experience has been great. I recommend it. Um, whether you want to get this particular phone or not, doesn't really matter. Android is... Android is Android, but um, you, there's really no debate anymore about which operating system is better. It just comes down to personal preference. <coughs> but for me, like I said, I just switched from an iPhone back to Android, and I got to say I'm very happy. I enjoy it. So if you're on the fence, you want to try Android, I say go for it. I personally prefer it. But again, you may prefer iOS. Not a big deal, but that's just me. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the description and comments below. Not the description, but the comments below. And as always, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not done so, please subscribe. Thanks.